I just moved everything that's been packed up out here. This is a little station that I set out for them many hours later now, and I'm in the home stretch. It's the end of an era. Good morning from the new house. I did go to that furniture outlet that I was talking about. It makes a lot of sense to have it right here. I thought this was cute. Let's keep everything in their boxes. It's moving week. I'm so excited. I asked in my last video for people to guess where they thought I was moving next and there was an overwhelming response for New York City. And look, I'm flattered if you think I'm cut out for New York City life. I know I am not. I don't think I would enjoy it. I love visiting there. I just don't think I'm cut out to live there, which is a shame because so many of my friends are there and there's so many opportunities and it seems like a really fun time. I just know that my personality and my way of life is just not gonna match with New York City. So not New York City, but a couple people did guess correctly. I am moving to Charleston, South Carolina, and I am could not be happier. Literally could not be happier. Moving to Charleston has been a bucket list item for me for the past two or three years, and it's just never worked out. It's kind of hard to get an apartment of a certain square footage and in a certain location, and I just wanted to be picky about what my experience moving to Charleston was going to be because I love the city so much, and I didn't want to fit a square peg into a round hole and just make the move work if I wasn't going to be pleased with like my location or like my living arrangements. I think some people will feel that, especially because I don't have to live in a an area for my job I work from home I work remotely don't have kids responsibilities whatever so I like I mean I have responsibilities you know what I mean so I like to move around because this is like the time in my life where I can do that and experience other cities and Charleston has always been on the list but I figured a day would come where things would actually fall into place and the day has come the day is 72 hours from now I am packing up my whole apartment as we speak as you can see behind me and wow I'm just so excited I kind of mentioned a few things in my last video where this has been obviously in the works for a little while but I didn't want to speak on it because <laughs> things kept falling through the cracks and I'm glad I didn't speak on it. I had put my name down for two apartments. They're both under construction, both like beautiful buildings, but they just weren't able to give a definitive timeline of when they would accept new tenants, when, whenever people could move in. They had to get their certificate of occupancy and all that stuff. And both projects ended up getting delayed. So I'm very, very, very thankful that something else worked out. I was able to find a like residential single family home to rent for around the same price as those apartments would have been. Way bigger space, obviously home versus an apartment sacrificing on the amenities like sacrificing on a gym pool whatever but i'm just thankful that i get to move to charleston because i've wanted to for so long i know from an outside perspective at least in like my circle of friends and peers in the space I feel like it seems like a lot of people are moving to charleston and it is like the city itself is growing in immensely like it's growing like crazy and charleston is seriously just like a magical place of like the vibes the lifestyle the city the proximity to the beach the food oh my gosh the food if you have a chance to go to charleston i I think you should visit. I think it's an amazing city to visit. It's a great weekend trip. It's like a big bachelorette hotspot. I'm just so excited and I feel like once you visit there, you kind of get the allure and you get why so many people move there because it's truly just feels like such a magical seems cliche, but I love it. And I'm so excited to move there in 72 hours. If you don't know, my name is Clara and I live in Raleigh right now. And like I mentioned, I tend to move around a lot. I don't tend to move around a lot. I do move around a lot. I've moved every year for the past like four years post-grad. I have just determined that you know if I am young and have few responsibilities and few things like tying me to an area this is like my time to move around and explore new areas and I don't know I love it I feel like I I always feel the need to like justify that and explain why I move so often but I meant what I said I truly think that Charleston is going to be a place where I say for quite a few years. That's just a little bit about me and about the move. There's lots to do, but I do have some packers coming tomorrow. I hired two packers for four hours through the moving company that I'm gonna be working with. They're coming tomorrow, and my intention was to have them pack up the kitchen, but I think that I'm gonna have them do a little bit more than just the kitchen. I just hate packing up the kitchen, honestly. I feel with all the breakables, like knives and sharp things, and I don't know, I would rather someone else do that, and that was like an add-on service to the movers that I'm hiring. Having some packers come tomorrow, so I am I'm not as overwhelmed as you might think I would be. I'm still very overwhelmed, but I've started to pull aside some things like my open first box. If you have ever moved, then you'll know kind of the scramble of when you first get to your new spot. You're like, where are the scissors? Where's the trash bag? Where's the roll of paper towels? Like, where's my clothing? I have to unpack so I can, you know, have something to wear tomorrow. So basically, whenever I move, because I am 
becoming quite a moving expert over the past couple years I like to have a suitcase or a box that is like the open first suitcase where this has clothes for the first few days pajamas shoes the, another outfit um, these are like basic toiletries so I'm not digging to find body wash and I'm not digging to find deodorant all of the things that I would maybe feel pressured to unpack first I just put in one area I'm also gonna put a roll of paper towels a screwdriver some trash bags this is kind of just like my essentials and then there'll be household essentials in the other side of the suitcase I'm gonna post a TikTok all about this because this is like a huge moving hack that it's not uncommon I just think it's like the way to do it so you're not stressed because as much as I think I'm just gonna hit the ground running and packing I'm probably gonna need to take a breather and I just want to make sure I have clothes and outfits and stuff and I'm not just wearing like dirty clothes and if you've watched any of my videos you know I just love being prepared so started laying out my stuff for the first night moving box type of situation so that way I can just pack up everything else and I have laid out all the essentials so everything else is free game to shove in some boxes as I'm packing up my closet today I do want to pull aside some more things to take to Plato's closet I'm selling to Plato's mainly because I need cash I would prefer to sell on Poshmark but I just don't have the time and I don't want to list things and then transport them down and heaven help I sell something that gets lost in the move or something so I'm gonna bring stuff to Plato's mainly because I need cash to tip my movers I'm gonna be working with Bellhop again they're the people that I worked with to move from Arlington Virginia to Raleigh so I've reached out to them again to see if they do a Raleigh to Charleston move and they don't technically have Charleston as like an area of business but what they're gonna do is outsource like connect they're, they're handling it all um it's not bellhop people that are gonna be moving me into the house in Charleston it's just bellhop vetted labor from a local moving company but everything goes through the bellhop hub I don't know I will explain it more like on the day of moving I put out so many quotes to moving companies in Raleigh like I obviously wanted to work with bellhop again but in the meantime I put out other quotes just to see if their number was competitive but I just heard back a couple days ago from movers that were like oh yeah we'd love to schedule you for this Saturday and I was like honey the ship has sailed if I did not have movers at this point I would be a wreck movers are coming on Saturday morning dropping everything off on Sunday morning I will have an air mattress in my car that I will sleep on and then that way I can like take measurements and figure out where each piece of furniture like needs to get moved and put in the house I'm really excited to get in there and like actually take measurements because I don't even know how big the spaces are I'm just kind of but like, buying furniture and praying that it fits lots of fun moving and decorating content I need to stop talking I am actively procrastinating packing up this bathroom behind me I think that's all that I need to tell you let's get this bathroom packed up whenever I move I am always astonished by how much stuff I have maybe I'm just not an efficient packer but I'd like to think I am but I always think I am over ordering boxes and I already know I need more it's past the point of ordering from Amazon that's what I like to do I order all my moving supplies from Amazon uh, I think it's more cost effective and then you don't have to fill your car and like lug everything back especially effective if you don't have your own vehicle to like transport everything but because I'm not packing in advance I have missed my window to order more like I would get more on Friday but hopefully by Friday I don't need more boxes I just need to clean the sound of this tape is horrendous but I genuinely thought that I could do this bathroom in three boxes and this is my fifth box and I don't think it's gonna be enough. I think this is gonna be, I think there's gonna be seven, seven boxes. And how many boxes did I order in total? 24, 32, I think I ordered like 50 boxes and I don't know if that's gonna be enough. I feel like from the outside looking in, my apartment looks very like minimalist, like I don't like clutter out, but best believe I stuffed my closets the actual brim there's so much stuff hidden in here you'd be impressed Good morning, it's bright and early on Thursday morning. The Packers are about to get here. Last night I just finished up the bathroom and then I took some time to organize out here. Polly's here during the move. She usually stays with my mom, but this year she is here. Um, so I'm interested to see how she does, but she doesn't seem phased. But anyways, back to what I was saying. I just moved everything that's been packed up out here and kind of organized it. I mean, not organized it, but just piled stuff up. So there was more space to work with. This is everything that I need to donate 
Play-Dohs, all that. I need to separate, organize, decide what's going where. Then I did my last closing shift in the kitchen last night because I want the movers or the packers to just completely take down the kitchen because this is the part that I hate doing myself. I do need to clean the hallway. I'll probably take those down today, but this is a little station that I set out for them because I opted to provide the materials for the bellhop packers. I ordered some boxes that came with a couple things like these stickers, some permanent markers, came with some tape, and then I just ordered some additional stuff. And I've been saving little airbags and stuff from Amazon orders for the past couple of days just so they have some extra cushion to pack with in case this paper isn't enough. This is their little station. When they get here, I'm gonna have them start working on the kitchen and then I'll probably go back into the bedroom closet and start sorting all that stuff. Oh, and I also made them this little basket of random snacks and stuff that I had in my pantry. I didn't go out and buy anything just because I have so many bars and smart sweets and stuff. So I'm just gonna set this out. I'm gonna put some energy drinks and coffees, like canned coffees in this side, but those are still in the fridge because I don't want to give them a warm drink. But I'm gonna just say that like they can help themselves to this because I always feel weird. Like obviously it's a paid service, but I just feel like whenever you have someone in your house, you have to make sure that they have what they need. And obviously there's water in the fridge. I was just sent to get more boxes by the packers. I've been trying to not necessarily stay on top of them, just stay on top of the supplies and make sure they have what they need. But oh my gosh, we ran out of boxes. I went to Home Depot to get some. And I was just loading up my cart, not thinking about the size of my car. And you can't even tell. A stranger just helped me load up my car and he did everything for me. I told him I don't know what my plan would have been if you hadn't walked by. Um, and I also don't know what my plan is when I get back to the apartment. I might just have the one of the packers come down with me and unload, but wow, they are getting so much done. Oh my gosh, I love just having, I feel like it's few and far between that you have an interaction with like a complete stranger in public, like to that extent. And I just love when that happens. You go so long sometimes without talking and interacting with complete strangers. And then it's Nice when something like that happens out of the blue because I feel like that doesn't happen often anymore. <laughs> anymore. Back in the day, we were so friendly. So dramatic. All right. Going back home. They're making so much progress, but I also, I mean, you know me. I don't like to put my camera and stuff in people's faces. So I'll show you the progress afterwards because they're killing it. And I, it's one of those moments where I'm like, I need to hire packers every single time. I thought the four hours that I hired them for was going to be enough to do the kitchen. I think they're going to do the whole apartment. And that makes it worth the money 10 times over. I thought I was paying for the kitchen to get packed i think they're literally gonna do the whole thing i have the air purifiers running on full blast just because all this dust is getting kicked up with every box and everything getting packed but this is everything they did oh my gosh, that is probably some of the best money that you can spend when moving, honestly, as packers. That took so much off my plate for today. And because they packed it, like, I'm just gonna trust them. Like, they do this for a living. That's okay, then that's okay, you know? Um, This is how everything looks. They're gonna wrap up the mirror and all the furniture and stuff on the actual day of the move. Um, All the kitchen is packed up, which means I'm eating out for the rest of the week. All of these are packed. I still need to go through this and, like, probably, give away a lot of this to my neighbors all of this emptied out fridge is still full but to be expected i'm gonna go through and get all my organizers and stuff out of here because if you recall i added those in so i'm gonna do that probably tomorrow but wow I feel so much better about this. And since I got packers through the moving company, two of the people that were here packing, there's three people total, but two of the guys that were here packing are actually working the like the move itself, like the loading and stuff. It was honestly really nice to have two people that are gonna be working the move. Well, I mean, they're all from the same company, but it was nice to have the packers come two days prior to kind of scope everything out too, because I was gonna spend time emptying like nightstands and emptying certain pieces of furniture. And the guy was like, nope, nope, we'll just wrap that. Like, don't even bother emptying it. I'm like, okay, good to know. Um, cause I didn't want to assume because obviously the stuff in it makes it heavier but I feel a weight off my shoulders I don't know I guess I just am a really slow packer because that would have taken me four days to do well, everything that they just did in four hours granted there was three people but Polly was good Polly was just chilling here the whole time she just heard me call her name you are such a goober this closet is empty this closet is empty this is all errands and stuff that hopefully I'm going to get done this afternoon. Some returns, shoes are in there. I am feeling so good about this. Just picked up some kava for lunch. It's about noon right now. I am surrounded by a ton of donations and stuff, but I think I'm gonna find more stuff to donate in my closet. So I'm gonna actually take that home, eat it at home, do a little bit more decluttering and probably run to Play-Dohs and run like a couple errands. But I believe I got the chicken and rice bowl, if I remember correctly. You can kind of see over my shoulder, but I just 
just dropped off a ton of stuff at Plato's. I had two boxes and four like tote bags. And I take back what I said about this location. I think they're under new management because the past three times I've been there, they've been really nice. I think I just had some bad experiences with them when I first moved here. But they did say that it's gonna take like two hours. I am just gonna stay in the area because you have to pick up same day. I don't wanna get home and start on a project. I do wanna run to Target even though I've been there like six times already today. But I wanna get dish soap and a couple of other things that I didn't realize how quickly the packers were moving and I was planning on pointing out some certain things like don't pack that and before I knew it everything was packed and I was like oh dang it so I'm gonna go buy like a couple things at Target that I should have set aside but it's okay I'm very thankful for the packers I just didn't think they were gonna move that fast and I didn't think they were gonna be able to pack that much so they packed some stuff that in hindsight I wish they hadn't but it's fine just like Clorox wipes and like random stuff like that I love this table so much and if I knew the measurements of my next place I might buy it but hopefully it's at a Charleston Target. It feels really nice. Wow I love that. This is everything I am getting here. I didn't have any waters to offer the movers so I wanted to get a pack of waters for Saturday morning. Some cleaning supplies like I said dish soap, glass cleaner, Clorox wipes, sponges and then some little paper towel alternatives because I did save a roll of paper towels but I don't want to like use that up quickly just to wipe down counters and stuff so I got some of those rag things Drano just because I like to pour Drano down the drains right before I move out of somewhere just so you know they're not clogged or leaving anything behind for the next people to deal with trash bags obviously straws and cups because I have cold brew in the fridge that I want to finish and I didn't leave any cups out I only have like my one Stanley that I'm going to use for my water so this is what I'm getting at Target half of it would have been actually all of it would have been avoidable except for the water and I'm actually out of these so I'll go ahead and get those two that is everything that I'm getting at Target back home now and in a while turn of events Luxie hair sent me flowers oh my gosh first of all the most beautiful arrangement I think I've ever received I don't know if the camera is doing this justice it is just perfectly like whimsical and every angle gets better don't mind my produce but how stunning is this it's from Garden of Eden flowers they sent it through a local Raleigh florist so if you need a Raleigh florist recommendation, Garden of Eden, oh my gosh, stunning. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to transport these four hours on the road to Charleston because I need these in my new kitchen. I'm so happy I was still at this address when they came. It's Friday morning now and I just left my wax appointment. I wanted to fit one last wax in, A, because I don't know where to go in Charleston yet, and B, because I just like love the place that I go. It's called Remedy Wax Place, Remedy Wax Studio. I stand corrected, I just call it Remedy. I go to Carson there, but Chris is also phenomenal. I've gone to her whenever Carson is booked. I love like making connections. <laughs> I mean, it's a strong connection if you get wax, you know, you talk for like 45 minutes straight. I just wanted to go one last time and like say bye. I tried to get an appointment with my hair girl, even though I don't necessarily like need my hair done because I want to like have one last conversation and kind of say bye to her and like close the loop on that. Why am I getting emotional for saying bye to my Brazilian wax place? Ugh. Um, anyway, so I just went there to get one last appointment in and I moved to the beach, you know, want to be fresh in case they go to the beach this weekend and really get to know the area so man i'm kind of sad i hate saying bye to people but i'm gonna find a way to be back here i did buy this they weren't gonna charge me for my service but then i wasn't gonna be able to tip so i asked them to charge me and they were like we're not gonna charge you anything so i bought this roller rescue soothing serum so i could add a tip to my charge but i actually just saw someone talk about this on tiktok bush balm I like this brand. This is the brand that they sell of like ingrown hair treatments and stuff. So I guess I am the new proud owner of this and I'm going to run to Whole Foods because this place that I go to is actually near Whole Foods. If you're in Raleigh, it's near like the Taco Bamba and Whole Foods, like the one that's kind of like a small neighborhood market vibe. Um, I'm going to run in there and buy some Slingshot cold brew because I'm crazy and I want to pack some of my favorite cold brew. Slingshot is a Raleigh brand, but they sell it nationwide at Sprouts, Whole Foods, but I'm not sure it's sold in Charleston. So I want to come prepared in case I need to sign up for their mail subscription because I will have like a little buffer of slingshot to hold me over until I'm on their subscription. That's what my morning has looked like. I am very sad. Got the cold brew and I just ran to Home Depot one last time to get three more wardrobe boxes. That was my first time packing with wardrobe boxes and it's kind of a game changer, honestly. I really like it, so I just got more. Thankfully, if I had mentioned this, the lease of the house I'm moving into is only for seven months. Don't ask why, it'll be a whole thing. You'll learn 
soon enough in seven months but this lease is only seven months and i'm gonna save all of the boxes that i'm packing with now knowing that i'm gonna move again in seven months just stay along for the ride you'll understand one day um because i'm buying all these there is a spot like an attic storage type of area in this house that i'm hopefully for any box that doesn't get like absolutely destroyed in the move i'm just gonna fold back up and put in the little attic space i wanted to get the ones that have this like metal bar instead of the cardboard bar just because i'm gonna be able to reuse them a couple times just now checking my phone and apparently i sent out one of those sos alerts by accident from holding down buttons on my phone so let me make sure the cops aren't coming many hours later now and i'm in the home stretch of packing i just emptied out my closet and the only stuff in here now is stuff that's going to be riding with me in the car stuff like my personal documents there's some designer bags in there stuff for tomorrow night and then the night after that just so there's no rush to unpack i'm just setting it aside all in here i don't want to load it into my car i don't know if i mentioned this but my apartment parking garage has a lot of like break-ins like there's like a lot of cars that get broken into and like bags and backpacks and stuff taken out of them and i was just thinking with my luck i do i want to load my car tonight yes but with my luck someone would like <laughs> steal the bag of all my designer items out of it like it just doesn't sound like a risk that i should take on my last night here so i'm putting it all in my closet so it's separated and doesn't actually get put on the moving truck but this is all the stuff that's going to go in the car with me and i'm just packing up like some random odds and ends now i'm just throwing them all in a box it won't make any sense i'm in the home stretch and they're going to take apart all the furniture tomorrow going to finish packing up in here bathroom is nearly done Bedroom is nearly done. Oh my gosh, I'm like itching to just get on the road, honestly. Happy Saturday and happy moving day. I packed all my tripods, so you're in my bathroom cabinet right now. But I'm just slapping on a little bit of makeup so I can feel human today. And the movers are gonna be here in the next 30 minutes. Just to get here at eight. Just trying to get the last few things packed up, like the bedding get the mattress covers out stuff like that and then i'm sure they will make quick work of this i think the guy mentioned that there's going to be six people total on the team i don't know if that includes the driver because last year the driver obviously his job is to drive more hers but their job is to drive so they just sit and like monitor the truck and i guess probably give opinions on the way distribution i guess or maybe not but I think that means there's five people loading, assuming one of those people is the truck driver. And that is gonna go by super quick. So I'm trying to make sure that everything that they need to take is packed up and out there because my car is not big. And if I have to drive down, like I just can't. I'll have to leave some stuff behind if they don't get everything. So I'm trying to do one last sweep and make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I did run out to Home Depot and get a TV box because the one I got on Amazon didn't have the foam corners that the ones that Home Depot have on them. I ran out and got a more sturdy TV box because I just don't want to take any chances with the TV breaking. I just got the boxes, woke up, and now it is just speed packing the rest of the little odds and ends. But I'm in the home stretch and it's hitting me. I mean, it's not hitting me, but today is the day. I am moving to Charleston today. That is crazy. I feel like I've thought about this day or like thought about this, this event taking place and it just seems so far out of reach and it's happening today. And it hasn't hit me. That's the thing, it hasn't hit me. I don't know if it will hit me today. It'll probably hit me in about a week when I'm actually there and unpacked, but wow. The movers are making quick work of everything and they're about to start taking apart some furniture, but I forgot to set out like Ziploc bags and stuff to put all the hardware in. So I just made little envelope pouches out of moving paper and then I'll fold this down and tape it up. And I think that'll be good enough, but I thought that was so smart of me. So obviously I wanted to share it. So I'm just going to make another one for the king bed frame. And I think that's actually all the furniture they're going to unassemble. The nightstands and this credenza and stuff, there isn't much unassembling. It's just like the piece of furniture. It's the end of an era. About to pack Polly up. Well, I think she packed herself up. And then I'm going to get on the road to Charleston. I should probably take advantage of the fact that she's in here right now. Good morning from the new house. It's in shambles. The movers haven't even gotten here. This is just packages that were waiting here for me. 
and then the stuff that was in my car but oh my gosh i'm obsessed so much to explore so much to decorate this is the sleeping situation last night but i'm just waiting for the movers to get here the truck's already here i'm just waiting for the labor themselves like the charleston labor to come they said they're gonna get here between 9 and 10 a.m and I'm ready for them. Like I'm gonna direct everyone to the rooms that they need to go to. I feel like unloading should go quicker than loading, hopefully, um, because there's a furniture warehouse that I wanna go to because they're having a warehouse sale and it's 25% off the already like warehouse prices. So I'm trying to go and get a couple of pieces now that I can take measurements. That's actually what I'm about to do before the actual people get here. But oh my gosh, I wish I could show you more, but like I can't just for safety purposes. Like one day I'll be able to give the full tour and we can like freak out about it together. But this is the place I was so excited about in the past couple of vlogs that I was really hoping would work out. And obviously it worked out. So you will see little bits and pieces as I start to decorate. And then towards the end of this lease, which is only seven months, by the way, I think I mentioned that only here for seven months. But at the end of that seven months, you will see the whole shebang. You'll see everything. Hopefully you're already sharing in my excitement. Definitely when you see the full thing, like you will get it. You'll understand. There is a TV mount on the wall. That's not the right TV mount for the frame TV. So that'll probably be a project today. There's also a bedroom upstairs that was supposed to be, it's, it's becoming very clear to me that the pictures on the rental listing online were probably the pictures when the house was like first first built or maybe even a picture of like a different house that the builder had built or something because there's like little differences that like aren't the same like one of the bedrooms upstairs is blue which is just like i just it's gonna frustrate me and i'd rather take care of it now than like get four months into the lease and be like i need to like change this so i'm gonna order some paint i think i'm gonna use claire paint because i was looking up like non-toxic non-smelly paints because i also don't want the house to smell like fresh paint if it can't get like i mean i can open the windows obviously but i don't know i just don't want to be smelling fresh paint fumes so i think i'm gonna order some claire paint and just paint it back to you know boring old cream neutral like it was in the picture because i just don't it's like baby blue oh, you can't even really tell on camera but it's just i don't like the vibe i need to paint the room and also what i'm about to say is not to be confused with a complaint it's just the reality of the situation that obviously i couldn't have known anything about because i toured this over facetime but i am catching whips of cat urine and i get it like that happens um but tell me what to do to get rid of the smell please i know there's probably tips and tricks and hacks and like little things i can buy and set out and stuff I just assumed that the last people had a cat and it had a couple accidents, but if you know that smell, then you know it like it gets in there. So I keep catching a couple whiffs of it and I just want to like, and I'll order anything. I just don't want to like keep smelling that, you know? Um, so painting the room blue and getting rid of the cappy smell and then this place is perfect. Little while later and everything made it. Mostly unscathed. There were a few things that have marks on them and I'm just gonna reach out to the moving company and see if, you know, the warranty, not warranty, the insurance and everything covers some of the minor damage. I don't think it's necessarily permanent damage, but um, just like some things I think should get steam cleaned now because they weren't wrapped tightly enough in the um, saran wrap tour. So I'm just gonna reach out to the company and see if they will cover slash the warranty will cover like cleaning and steam cleaning all that stuff other than that great experience i guess i'll find out as i open boxes if more stuff broke maybe i shouldn't speak too soon but speaking of you're in the kitchen right now and i am going to start unpacking some kitchen boxes they actually put all of the kitchen boxes in the kitchen itself so i'm gonna kind of have to like unpack my way out of this but this was one of the rooms that the packers packed up so i truly don't know what's about to be in these boxes Let's see what we're in for. I did go to that furniture outlet that I was talking about before they closed. I just ran over there really quickly after the movers left. And I ended up getting a couple things that are going to deliver on Wednesday. So you will see that in a future vlog. Now it's just time to unpack everything. What is this? I guess that's kind of a downside of people packing for you. Is that I would have seen half this stuff and probably thrown it away or donated it. Um... You know what, I don't think this is gonna be an aesthetic unpack with me moving vlog because if you saw what was in these boxes, it's just, it's not aesthetic. <laughs> they just threw stuff in random boxes. Let me get a game plan and then I'll catch up with you later. I'm also running on like empty because I don't have any fridge. I mean, I don't have any, I don't have any fridges. I don't have any groceries in my fridge. So I am just barely getting by. I would not be surprised if I got sick like later this week because I'm feeling so run down, but I just want to get everything unpacked. I am the type of person that if 
like i'm really only here for a couple months but i just need everything settled like my goal is like in the next week to have everything settled everything unpacked because i don't like living in this like limbo unboxing stage for too long just because i want to be in the space enjoying it and if i need to buy any pieces of furniture i do need to buy some bar stools for right here so that's something that i want to do like next week so i can have the bar stools for you know the entire length of the lease that's just how i've always been when it comes to apartments oh my gosh i'm so excited so happy i know i keep saying that and i feel like i haven't shown a lot in this video maybe when i watch the footage back it will feel like a comprehensive vlog but for now i feel like i've kind of flopped on this vlog but i don't know there's just so much to unpack and so many like personal you know safety type things that i don't want to show but i am so in love with this place i just feel so good here like you know that like you have to get a vibe for where you're living and i just get the best vibe possible and i can't wait to show you that furniture i got today too you're gonna love it progress update it doesn't look like much but i think i have gotten rid of like 15 boxes but here's the status update i do think that table is going to center over that light but right now it just felt wrong with like all the stuff right here but i think once everything is cleared out it'll be easier to situate furniture this is the tv mount that they had installed but that won't work with the frame tv that i have so that'll have to get swapped out tomorrow and then the frame will be centered between these two windows and then this will be centered below it i mean in like if this was actually my home i would probably get pieces of furniture that like size wise fit better but for now it's totally fine i'm trying not to make any like huge purchases you know what i mean my desk is still gonna go in the primary bedroom there's a little space for it in the corner which will be perfect for when i film my nails because i really like filming it in that setup this is still going to be the entryway table that will probably stay on this wall i would love a bigger entryway table for this wall but again i just don't want to buy anything like dimension specific let me actually take you upstairs even though it's late at night now and i'm kind of scared i don't like know the house yet you know but this is where those boucle chairs are gonna be it doesn't really make sense up here like functionality wise i'm scared to go in that room and turn off that light so it might stay on all night because i'm a freaking scaredy cat i hate this anyways this is where these are gonna stay just for the sake of not having to put them in storage and they work fine probably put some art right here nice little sitting area i guess if there's a line for the guest bath people will have a waiting area let me run downstairs without turning that light off because i'm too freaking scared should have done that hours ago good morning good afternoon it's almost good evening but it is monday i think yes it's monday so second full day in the new house i have just been unpacking boxes all day not making much progress visually but i feel like i'm getting stuff closer to where their final home will be i did decide to put my desk and chair and like little computer setup i don't have a desktop i just move my laptop around whenever i need to work so sometimes i'm at the kitchen table kind of rarely use my desk in the last apartment because it was just so hot with all those windows but that won't be a problem here and i think i'm going to hang up my beloved zebra print over my desk because it's just going to tie in the black lamps in the bedroom so i don't know maybe you can kind of see now just how large this bedroom is <laughs> if you remember how tight my bed was to the chair in the last place like oh my gosh there's so much space in here i'm so excited there's going to be a dresser on this wall so there's only so much clothing i can unpack because a lot of it's going to go in a dresser this time around but i'm just working on some boxes I'm just going to stack stuff in the closet as i can until it's time to unload into a dresser i also want to get a dresser for right here i feel like i'm contradicting myself so much throughout this video i also 
also spilled coffee on myself this morning so ignore that but i feel like i'm contradicting myself so much in this video because i'm saying that i'm not gonna buy furniture pieces for these specific spaces and then i'm getting a dresser for in there but i'm just gonna like price shop around for a dresser that fits those dimensions and maybe i'll be able to use it in a future closet oh my gosh there's like lane overhead and i have the window open but i've had the windows open all day because if you know my last place you couldn't open the windows in it so i am fully enjoying the fresh air and being able to open the windows here but i've just been drinking a lot of coffee and unpacking boxes and not even organizing just putting them in the space and then organization projects and all that will be this week but i just want to get all the boxes and all the cardboard out of here because i mainly want to go through with my bissel and like wet mop wet vac mop the floors let me let me put this up and i'll show you my feet look at the bottom of my feet that's literally from these floors I don't think they clean before. I don't know how moving into a house works. I don't know how moving into a rental like this works, but I guess I thought that they would clean first, but maybe I should have hired cleaners and sent cleaners in first. These are all like lessons I'm learning because I've only ever moved into apartments and obviously they do like a big clean throughout. But is that not insane? I have probably ruined like five pairs of socks over this past couple of days because they're all turning black on the bottom. I'm gonna wet mop the floors with the Bissell later and I'm not gonna stop. I'm just gonna keep doing it. Pour off the water, do it again. I'm gonna do it until the water runs clear. Been living off of takeout for the past couple of days and I'm trying not to judge any of the restaurants based on their takeout because obviously, you know, when something sits, it's not like the best representation of their food, but I should actually wash my hands before I touch this. I'll obviously give like Charleston food favorites and stuff when I find them, but I'm trying not to judge anyone based off their takeout. If I remember correctly, I think I got like a carnitas pork bowl. I was so close to just throwing this away or donating it, but something told me to hold on to it and look at how perfect this is. This is such a small little laundry closet, so this is going to be perfect and I would have just repurchased it anyway. So let's load this up and then I have a load of laundry that I want to get started because because the laundry is backing up. I will say a downside of using packers is unless they're labeling things like super, super specifically, you don't really know what boxes they put what stuff in because the way that I would pair things together in my mind and put them into boxes might not be the way that they were thinking. So I'm trying to kind of like figure that out and chase down certain things. But I think I've got all of the laundry stuff figured out because I found the box that had other stuff from that closet in it. Hopefully this is everything fitting nicely on my little cart. You can barely see it. It's out of frame. Kind of driving me crazy that this place isn't like clean to start with because I feel like I'm going to be cleaning around my stuff. I wish I was just putting stuff into a clean area, but this is good for me. I need to learn how to deal in situations that I'm not in control in. Laundry detergent tablets. I think that's everything and I also found all of the Bissell machine cleaner stuff so I I might do the bedroom tonight bedroom and bathroom maybe so that way when i shower tonight i can be walking on the clean floors of the bedroom and bathroom so let me roll this into place put in a load of laundry and then we'll see how dark that water gets in the machine like y'all is this okay like obviously i'm gonna deep clean this but do you think it's okay to put laundry detergent in here oh well i'm going for it all right let's see what this thing gets up <laughs> I really only did the floor where this rug is about to get laid down because I don't really want to do everything tonight, but I don't know if, yeah, you can see that. That is crazy. Honestly, I would bet these floors have never been cleaned. Honestly, I don't know how that happens. I've never seen that before. That's insane. Good morning. It is Tuesday now and I am looking and feeling a little bit gremlin-y. Starting to break out from kind of, you know, everything. Probably new water. Skincare routine's a little bit out of whack. I'm filming something right now. That's why I have this next to me. But I am really hoping that today I find myself Tanner Box because I could really use a little pick-me-up. But I'm continuing to unpack today. I just found a box of cleaning supplies which is great considering what I pulled up off the floors last night. So I'm gonna organize that. I'm gonna film it for a little TikTok. I also posted my TikTok like moving real announcement thing yesterday and I really like the way that video turned out but I want to post more like unpacking, organizing content. So that's my job today. It's more of that and then speaking of job, I actually have due dates and stuff. I obviously knew I was gonna be moving so I kind of scheduled meetings and due dates and everything around the move but tomorrow is like my 
my complete back to work, full to-do list, things due, concepts due, emails to be answered, meetings. So today is kind of my last day of like unpacking mode. So I wanna see how much I can get done today. So right now I'm just gonna unpack this box of cleaning supplies and hopefully it just fits all under here. And then we'll move on to maybe the pantry or the laundry room. This is how everything fit down there. But as I was unpacking all my cleaning supplies, I realized that there must be another box somewhere with a couple more because there was a couple things like I have this big box of scrub daddies somewhere. I don't know. It shouldn't be much, but there is more cleaning supplies hidden somewhere. So hopefully I can still fit stuff. I have some space behind the garbage disposal. So we'll see. I think this will work out fine. Setting up one of my Prime Day purchases right now. I gave this as a gift to someone last Christmas and I was obsessed with it. I wanted one for myself, but there wasn't anywhere that made sense to own one in my last place. So I got one for this kitchen because I think it makes a lot of sense to have it right here. This is the Amazon Echo Show and you can display like recipes on here. It can be a TV. It's basically just like an Alexa hub, but I really like the idea of having it in the kitchen because I can have my recipe up there. If, if you know me, then you know I follow recipes like twice a day, breakfast, I mean, lunch and dinner. So it's going to be really useful for that. And you can display a picture on it. So it kind of looks like a frame TV. The updates, this device will restart twice. <laughs> Anyways, I'm excited to have it. You have a remote that you can like play TV and like control it with. Clearly updating right now, but I'm excited to get that set up. And I think it makes a lot of sense in that spot too, because it'll be like a pretty little picture there. Took me a little while, but I finally figured it out. And I just loaded a picture from Slim Errands on there for the time being. Might not be what stays up there. I like the way it looks and I can access my recipes and like watch TV and stuff on that. Not that I would probably watch TV right there because the TV is going to be right here, which is also visible, but it's going to be really nice for like weather, recipes. Honestly, I'm just excited for like the recipe aspect. I think I'm going to take a break from being in the house and go run some errands right now. I think I'm going to go to Home Depot and Home Goods or Marshalls or like whatever is nearby the Home Depot. Started making little lists of things that I am going to need and then I'm going to go around with a little tape measure and take pictures of the interior like drawer measurements and stuff like that for organizers and hopefully make some progress on this. I love that I added ferns, mums, and pumpkins to my Home Depot list, but those are necessities in my mind. So I will be getting those for the front porch. I'm at the point in unpacking where I just feel like a certified gremlin. I feel like a shell of myself. So I'm slapping on a little bit of makeup before running those errands and I changed into a black set because I was getting that light pink one dirty. Nothing major. I don't want to be looking like a gremlin around town when I'm trying to meet people. You know what I mean? But I don't want my first impression in the city to be looking like a troll that lives under a bridge. Just freshening up a little bit before Home Depot and Home Goods, Marshalls, whatever it turns into. I was gonna text a friend and see if they wanted to join, but I think I'm just gonna be a woman on a mission today. It might not be fun for someone else to come with me. These aren't like leisurely errands, you know? I'm just getting in, getting out, getting the stuff I need. And then I gotta get back and keep unpacking because like I said, I have so much work to do tomorrow. Like I'm actually back to work tomorrow. And then I also have a furniture delivery coming if I had mentioned that that couch and the outdoor furniture that I bought over the weekend gets delivered tomorrow so I obviously need like a path cleared for them I need them to be able to put it where it needs to go I don't want them to just drop it off when obviously like part of the delivery is putting it in the room so they need to be able to get to the room but I love having something on my calendar like that where I'm forced to finish unpacking or organizing or whatever furniture delivery tomorrow is my motivation to get a lot of this stuff done I also need to contact the property management company and let them know about a couple things that are broken because I don't think the owners of this home have been in it for quite some time so they might just not be aware but like the garbage disposal had some bottle caps in it that weren't mine like I haven't opened any bottles or anything there's some bottle caps in it and I thought I got everything out but there still sounds like something's in the garbage disposal so I don't want to be the one accused of breaking that and there's some issues with the garage door just some like random little things that I don't think they would have known about if they hadn't been in the actual house living in it in a while so want to get those sorted out and tell them about some random damage that I found that I don't care about the damage I just want to make sure you know you have to make sure those things are documented so they don't try and say that you did it. All right, well, now I'm feeling slightly less gremlin-y. I'm gonna go to Home Depot. If you can't tell, I just finished my rounds at Marshall's, Home Goods, and Home Depot, and I just stopped and got an acai bowl that looks so freaking good, and I had to get their cold brew to try too. 
and I'm just gonna head home. I'll show you what I got when I get there. I've just, like I said, I'm a woman on a mission today and I just didn't wanna film through the store, but I found a lot of what I needed. I should have known better than to go to Home Goods with a list because obviously I didn't get like anything on the list, but I did get some other stuff that will be helpful for organizing. Gonna head home, eat this acai bowl. Well, let me try this first, not bad. I got some outdoor furniture too and a ladder. I don't know if I mentioned that. Let me go home and eat this and then I'll give you a little haul. Back home now and I wanna show you a couple of things that I got, but I don't know where to put the camera quite yet. So you're going in the spice cabinet. But from Marshall's Home Goods combined, it was like one of those like double stores. It was Marshall's and Home Goods combined. Um, I got this basket, fun little basket. I need one for the laundry room to put dirty rags in, like dirty hand towels, stuff like that that I don't wanna wash with clothing. I usually just do a load on their own once that's filled up. And I had one that hung on the back of the door in the last apartment, but I I wanted a basket. Thought this was cute. How long will it take me to justify the purchase of a basket? Nothing special. Then I got this little eye design sticker organizer thing for under the kitchen sink for sponges and stuff. Um, it has two hooks so I can put rags there. Um, I like this better than having one of those little suction things on the inside of the sink because those get kind of nasty. I mean, this will probably get nasty too now that I say that out loud, but this is what I'm going with. And I like these little bins for my design. I have a ton of them and sometimes you can find them at Home Goods but I think they're sold primarily at Container Store. Not sure, I usually just look up this brand on like Amazon or wherever I'm shopping and there's always some. But this will go under the sink. And then the last thing I got from Home Goods Marshalls was more of these clips. These are like gold brushed alligator chip clip and I like these, I already have a set of four but when I bought them that was the only one in the store and I wanted to get more. Hopefully they survived the move. I have one right here but I don't know, I like the idea of having a cohesive set of clips like this because I never have enough. And I kind of like the way these will look in the pantry like when there's an open bag and it's just folded down with this. It's the little things, you know? I also got a ladder. I got a gorilla ladder, I think. I don't know, it was like nine feet tall or it goes up to nine feet tall. It's like a three-step ladder. I don't know anything about ladders. Um, So that was from Home Goods. I also got a pumpkin from Home Goods. It's sitting outside. I got some mum and I got two outdoor chairs that I just posted on my Instagram story, so I'll insert the picture of them. But I found those at Home Goods, and they were $69 each, which is insane because I've been looking at outdoor furniture and it's crazy. It can get crazy expensive. Plus, thing I got from Home Depot is this little wire rack for the laundry room because that's the next room that I want to work on today. Let me show you what we're working with. Actually, I don't think I've given you the tour. I have a ton of boxes that are organized already and they're modular, so I'm just going to put all of those on this shelf. And then this closet is where I want to put that rack gonna be kind of hard to get to right now but this is just one of those like situations where it's a uh, not really a storage closet but best believe i'm gonna try and make it a storage closet so that's where i want that rack to go so let's build this together right now hopefully it's easy it's really light actually i wasn't expecting it to be this light and i didn't measure should i measure no i'm sure it'll be fine how hard can this all right that was not hard at all let's see how this works perfect oh my gosh i feel like i even could have gone higher so now this will be kind of my cleaning tool stash if you've ever wondered where all of my tools go the answer is back in here i still have to try this one out but i think i'm gonna film like an actual unboxing of it so that's why it's still in the box otherwise that'll fit even nicer right there and now i'm just gonna put all of like the different attachments and stuff in a basket on that shelf and the bottom can be overflow cleaning supplies if i ever find that in the other boxes laundry room is looking infinitely better i think this is honestly as good as it's gonna get but all of my boxes that were in the entryway closet in my last apartment fit up here perfectly they're modular so it looks really nice all stacked up the same height the same tag oh my gosh it's such a good feeling when organization like works out in another space because that was so much work and i'm glad that i was able to just keep everything in their boxes slide it all here and it's just as organized this is the basket that i got earlier today just for the rags like i talked about i think it's just gonna sit up there and then for all of my laundry products i have them on this little cart next to the washer and then i have my drying rack right here too and my laundry basket will sit right there speaking of it's actually right here and i'm thinking that i'm gonna do a quick load of laundry or at least put one in because this is clearly overflowing this should be illegal that's insane let's do a check yep it's still pretty bad 
Good morning, happy Wednesday, which is couch delivery day. I was just cleaning the floors and moving all the furniture around so they can put it close enough to the spot that I want it to stay in. I still want to get a rug to go underneath it, but first things first is getting the couch in here and it's actually modular, you'll see it soon, but so like each piece can be moved and I think it'll be way easier to fit. Um, fit a rug down under it and way easier to roll out a rug just because you can move each piece individually. Just used the Bissell though and the water is still black. Like I think this is like construction combined with people living here and like having never mopped the floor. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe I don't want to know. I should stop thinking about what it is and just think about getting it up. But I'm going to run the Bissell pretty much until the water is just like a light gray color. So I feel like that's pretty standard with like people walking around it. That's kind of the color that my apartment used to get and I used to think that water was gross. So my goal is to just run it long enough and do it as many times over until the water just gets to be like normal dirt colored um and then i think i actually just googled it i think i'm gonna hire like a cleaning crew to come in once all the furniture is in place and just have them come around and clean as they normally would i want like the baseboards done um i'll kind of talk to him about it and just say that i haven't lived here like but a week and i just want it to be kind of cleaned to the point where I can keep up with it. You know what I mean? I don't want to have to like start at, you know, square negative 10. Um, just because, you know, I have my cleaning routine and stuff, but I don't know. I'm feeling very overwhelmed. I think I'm just gonna hire someone. Never done that before. I don't know, kind of sounds like a vibe. I was always jealous of the people who had like cleaning companies growing up. I was like, damn, that's so cool. Probably gonna look into that today and just like schedule someone for early next week maybe. But I've arranged the furniture how I think I want to have it. Let me show you really quick. I tried centering the table under that light fixture and it just doesn't work. So I know that's gonna bother some people, but trust me, I tried it and it's just not correct for the layout that I want in here. So we're just gonna have that floating in there, which is fine. Um, This couch is gonna go. I can't decide if I'm gonna put it in storage or if I'm gonna sell it. I feel like this is one of those things that as soon as I tell myself I won't ever need it, I'm gonna move somewhere and be like, wow, a nice little couch would go great there. And then I'm gonna probably repurchase the same one. Cause I really do like this couch. I just want a sectional so bad. So this is just kind of off to the side right now because I think I'm gonna do the sectional right here. I was really playing around with it last night about either doing the credenza here or on the wall that I'm standing on right now. But I think it makes more sense right there, but I'm not gonna center the credenza like clearly the last people did. They left the mount here. Um, I'm just going to remove this and then and hang my frame TV like right here and it's gonna be off center on the wall. The way that this TV mount is put and the light fixture just doesn't work. And I feel like I need to ignore those two things and just lay the room out like I would if those weren't there because those are kind of like clouding my mindset. So credence is gonna be off center but then the sectional is gonna be centered on that. So then this will be like a little living room, dining room. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna get bar stools. Um, maybe if I come across some, but this is already kind of tight, but it might not actually be tight once the boxes are moved and I can always like move the table so that chairs are, you know, staggered differently. I'm making progress. It might not look like it on the vlog. Well, hopefully it does, but yeah, I am making progress and I'm excited for the couch to get here. I do have some stuff to do. Like I mentioned, I'm like essentially back to work today. Did I find my computer charger? No, I think I'm gonna go buy one. Um, I don't know where it could have been. I don't think I left it in the apartment. Maybe it's in my car somewhere. I should check there before I buy one. But anyways, I actually have some stuff to film. I have brand deals that are due, which means that I need to go unpack my curling iron or something. I need to put on some makeup, probably find find a cute outfit, dig that out of the closet because I'm working with, oh my gosh, hopefully this all goes according to plan because it still has to go through like review periods and stuff, but I'm working with TJ Maxx, which if you know me and you know my content, that is like the most perfect partnership that I could ever have dreamed of. So I need to go film that today. It's like a holiday video, but I have to film like four weeks in advance of the video actually going live. So by the time this vlog goes up, the post probably won't even be up. Maybe it will. Actually, I think I'm filming like two weeks in advance, but anyways, it has to go through like legal review and stuff when I work with bigger brands like that. They have like a lot of guidelines and things that you have to hit. I have to go film that today so I can submit that and I can start going through the review process. Obviously not the best timing. I was gonna film it last week, but I didn't wanna film it in Raleigh and then move here and then have the video go live and it's like very clearly like my old Raleigh TJ Maxx, but it will be exciting because I'll be able to go explore my new neighborhood TJ Maxx. So that's today, I gotta get ready for that and go film that. What was me? I have to go shopping at TJ Maxx for work. I know, I know, it's like so awesome. But that's on my list for today. 
I have the couch delivery, other like boring admin stuff. I've been ghosting my accountant. He probably thinks I died. I need to text him back today. Um, but yeah, I need to kind of get back into my rhythm. I might dig out my planner and like plan out the rest of my week, but that's what Wednesday is looking like. All right, little update. I found a waiver, so I just waved my hair. I haven't done this in forever. I feel like it looks really good. And then I just slapped on a little bit of foundation and bronzer and like mascara. This is my little filming outfit today. I feel like this will be fine. I just I want to look back at the video and be like girl what the hell were you thinking that day but while i was getting ready the couch delivery crew called and said they would be here in 30 minutes so i'm going to wrap up the cord on this bad boy actually no i'm not i'm just gonna drag it right here but i'm gonna go clear off like the front porch and make sure they have room to bring everything up but i'm so excited i cannot wait to show you this couch oh my gosh i have no words she's so Stunning. I've made it to TJ Maxx and there's a home goods right next door So I have a good feeling about this. Hopefully I find some good stuff But I'm gonna go in there and film and then I will go there to shop Well, I mean that's shopping too, but you know what I mean. All right y'all my initial impressions is that the West Ashley TJ Maxx home goods combo is Superior to the Mount Pleasant one. Oh my gosh. I got some really good stuff Can't wait to show you a lot of organization stuff and I got some pillows too But I'm gonna go pick up lunch head home edit the video I just filmed and then submit it and hopefully they love it back home and just filmed a tj maxx marshall's home goods haul for tiktok but let me show you a couple things that i got i can't remember if i showed you this but i ordered some stuff from marshall's before i even moved in and it was here waiting for me when i got here but two of the things i got in that order are these pillow covers they're like a linen-y like flax almost i really really like them they might go on the couch actually and another part of that order was this table lamp i love 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 the vibe of this and it was like 25 dollars wasn't sure if I was gonna like it wasn't sure if I was gonna have a spot for it But I just you know bought it anyways because that's how Marshall's works I also got three coffee table books in that order too, which is nice because obviously those are heavier Um, but I got this poolside with slim errands. They're actually all slim errands books I'm obsessed with his photography recently. That was like a new discovery for me I've had his pictures saved on Pinterest and not known that he was like the original artist So I found three slim errands coffee table books at Marshall's on marshalls.com So I ordered those and and then when I was at Home Goods today, I actually found this one, which I really like the vibe and the color of. Not sure exactly where these are gonna live, but I think they're fun. I've already shown these on Instagram. I can't remember if I've shown them in a vlog, but these are two travertine picture frames. It's not actual travertine, it's plastic, but I'm gonna frame these greeting cards that I got in the Hamptons in there, and I think it's gonna look really good. I actually bought these before the move, but I just didn't wanna pass up on them when I saw them in the Raleigh Home Goods, and I'm glad I didn't because I've been to a lot of Home Goods in the past couple of days clearly and none of them had these i was hoping to get a third but none of them had them so i'm glad that i got them when i did another find from today are these two white euro sham pillows not sure where they're gonna go but i love the texture these might actually go in the guest room now that i say it or maybe in the primary bedroom but love those and i got some baskets too that i still need to unload from the car so let me go grab those just brought everything up from the car this is what i got from tj maxx today i got a couple of oh, i don't even want to set this down on the nice couch I'm gonna be so protective over that for a couple months and then it's just gonna go back to being a normal couch But I got two of these that's like this one this one this one They're not connected so you can kind of move them around and then this one is expandable So that's gonna be nice. I feel like home goods tj maxx marshall's has the best price on stuff like this Like this expandable bamboo one was $13 and this is easily gonna be like 35 on amazon And I think these two were like seven dollars and that would have been like 20 on amazon I mean amazon's good for like last minute stuff and obviously like the shipping and it's easy But I prefer to get organized Organizers and stuff like this from TJ Maxx and home goods whenever I can so long as they're in stock and they have the dimensions I need because I feel like it's just more cost-effective The only problem is once you buy them there like you can't really continue the set It's easier to continue a set if you buy from Amazon and you can buy it like year after year Assuming the seller still makes them I feel like this is fine though because bamboo just matches all bamboo I got this for a friend who's about to get a dog So I'm gonna give that to her in a little housewarming slash dog warming basket. I got some cutie little clothes clothes to send to Laura's baby boy because I bought him a bunch of stuff when he was first born and he's outgrown it already and we can't be having that. I need to have Clara stuff in his closet at all times so he just knows that I'm the best aunt that he has. So yeah, I got a ton of cute like little brown neutrals, whatever. I got this serving board but I think I'm going to use it in a bathroom to hold like soaps and stuff on or maybe on the back of a toilet. I just thought it was cuter. I mean a serving board and a tray is the same thing but I'm gonna use this as like a household tray, not necessarily like a serving tray. Then I got two of these baskets, 
which I'm obsessed with. I was trying to search on Amazon actually last night to find something like this because I want to put all my paper towels and toilet paper and baskets like this in the pantry. So I was able to get two of them. Hopefully I don't need three because like I said, it's just hard to continue matching sets after you get stuff at Home Goods. This was actually TJ Maxx. I'm getting them confused. But I got two of those and then I also got this cutting board. I want another good wood cutting board. This one feels sturdy and thick. So I just got this. I like wood cutting boards, especially for cooking videos. I think it just looks so much better, but the ones that I have are starting to get stained and like have a ton of knife marks and stuff like that. So it's long overdue to replace them. I love getting cutting boards at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Home Goods in those stores. I got this matching cozy set because obviously I had to get something for myself. Tried this on the other day, but I didn't buy it because the line was too long. So went back today and they had it in this color instead of gray. So this is giving very much sad beige baby, but trust me, we have some color. It'll be fine. And then last thing I got in here, I believe is the last thing. Yes, is this little Jew area rug that I might actually put outside. Wow, could literally, literally couldn't have planned that better. This will fit six rolls of paper towels and then however many rolls, probably what, 12 of toilet paper. And I'm gonna put them in the pantry like this. Finishing the night with one of my little non-alcoholic Aperol spritzes. Insanely good. I need to order more of these. I think I'm gonna end the video here. I'm honestly not sure what this vlog is gonna look like, what footage I got. I guess I will find out when I edit it. And if it's posted, then I guess that means it's good if you're watching this. But I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you're excited for more Charleston content to come because I am so excited. I'll definitely film more of like the settling in, unpacking, decorating process as it happens. Clearly it's gonna be a slow and steady process but I'm hoping in the next month I will be completely settled in all my furniture here But make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram if you want to see like more little bits of my life over there And make sure you're actually subscribed on this channel so you don't miss another video But thanks for watching. I'm so glad you're here and I can't wait to show more of life in this house in this city I'm just over the moon